Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you how to take a print in Revit architecture. So let's begin. This is uh, one of my residential project ground floor plan and I am going to teach you how to take a print of this in Revit. So I am going to press either Ctrl P on my keyboard or I can go to file here and I can select this option print so if you select print option uh, print window will pop out and you can select the printer name from the list so I am using Canon printer so it is showing here by default so if you are not using any printer it will be not shown here and uh, next one is fax here and this is microsoft print to pdf you can use this also for making pdf files and this is the document writer and this is one not desktop and i am using bulgy pdf printer i prefer of using bulgy pdf printer for my uh, revit pdf files you can download it from external website from google it's free and you can use for your printing pdf so for downloading bulgy pdf printer you can go to google and you can simply search here bulgy pdf printer and you can go to this website here bulgy.com and you can see this free pdf printer bulgy.com so it is very handy in revit so you can download by visiting this website and you can start downloading this so I have already downloaded from my uh, window and you can uh, use for any of your window version like 11, 10, 8, Vista XP and now I am going to my Revit and I am going to select Bulgy PDF printer here so if you select Bulgy PDF printer you can see status is ready and you can see uh, properties here so if you will select properties here you can see uh, there is layout here so layout you can select orientation of your seats landscape orientation or portrait so you can select uh, either landscape or portrait and page order also you can se select here and page per seat you can select one two uh, how many uh, pages per seat if you want it will come out so I'm going to select one here and next is page quality so if you want color print of your seat you can select color if you want to black and white you can select black and white so I'm going to select black and white and now after this this is the file here so if you want to combine multiple selected views of seats into a single file you can select and you can select also create separate files view seats name will be appended to this specified name you can select uh, this one combine multiple selected views per sheet into single sheets and now after this uh, this is the folder where you want to save your pdf here so uh, you can select any folder here desired folder so i am going to uh, save this to my download folder here and I am going to save this and now this is the print range so if you want to take print of this current window so this is my current window if you want to take print of this window you can use this current window so uh, if you want to visible portion of current window so how much it is visible uh, visible here you can take the print of this so most of the time we select this selected views or sheets so i am going to use this selected views or sheets so uh, after this in session you can click this one select and so if you want to take print of any of these you can select this so i am going to select my sheet here seat 101 unnamed so i will show you i have uh, saved seat here first i will show you my seat so you can or uh, prefer my previous tutorial for how to make a seat in revit architecture so i am going to select this 101 unnamed 
I'm going to click double click this and you can see this is my seed format here and I have made tutorial onto this you can refer my previous tutorial and it will be very easy to you to understand how to make a seat in private architecture so after this I am going to teach you how to take print so I am going to take print of this seat A101 so so I am going to press ctrl B here and Bulgy A printer is selected I have uh, selected my folder where I am going to save my seat and now I am going to select this selected views per seat and in session then select and now I am going to search for my seat here. I want to take print of this seat A101 unnamed. And after this, you are required to click OK. Do you want to save these settings for use in a future Revit session? I am going to click Yes. And this is a page setup here in session. It is written here. You can click this setup here. And this Bullzip PDF printer uh, page setup will be open, and you can select the name here, default, or you can select paper size here. This is letter. If you select this, there are more option of the paper size like A3, A4, A5, A0, A1, A7, A9, A10, and likewise you can select any paper size here. So I am going to select A4 here. And you can select the orientation whether you want to take portrait or landscape from this one and paper placement is the center and if you want to offset from corner you can put your any value here so I'm going to leave this default and zoom this is fit to page and uh, you can also select this zoom and how much you want to zoom if you want to zoom more you can increase the value so i'm going to select default fit to page and there are more options here view links in blue hide reference work plan so i'm going to select this one and i can leave this setting as it is and now the appearance is raster quality is high so if you want to low quality print you can select low if you want medium quality you can select medium you can select high and you can select presentation also so i'm going to select high and colors if you want to black lines gray scale or color so i am going to select uh, black lines here or if you want to show this logo also you can select color from this and vice versa so if after this you can click OK. Do you want to save this setting for use in a future Revit session? So I'm going to select Yes. After this you can select this option OK and you have chosen to print one views per sheet as separate files. Do you wish to continue? Yes. And now this Bullzip PDF printer setting will be opened because I am using Bullzip PDF printer and you can see uh, many settings into this and you can see this option general settings here option default and format you, you want to uh, save to some other format like jpg eps or doc file you can use this I am going to use PDF here and file name where you want to save and open destination folder after creation you can select this also and then this is the document and author is my name you can select title also and quality is default here and initial zoom label i'm going to select default and compatibility label video 1.5 acrobat 6x and these settings you can refer then here is image watermark can refer this also so I'm going to leave this and now I'm going to save this PDF file and you can see uh, this uh, is saved into desired folder here and also is opened here see user so I have uh, now, uh, saved into my download folder and you can open it this after finishing and you can see this bullzip PDF printer is very nicely printed in 
for Revit architecture, you can download this free. So likewise, you can take print of any of the floor plans. Suppose if you want to take make elevations here, you can make a directly drag and drop this elevation floor plans and you can take 3D views also and you can create another sheet likewise here and you can take print of this separately. So this was the tutorial for how to take a basic print in Revit architecture. Hope you have liked this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.